Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Sarah with Hornytown Homemade Goods. And today I wanna to talk to you about the things that I think beginner baker needs. Um, if you're a moderate baker, so you're not just doing it for a hot pause. If you're a beginning baker, but you're doing it to sell, I'm gonna tell you some things that I think are gonna be valuable to you, gonna make your life easier as a baker. And then we're gonna move up to the moderate category and then to things that if you're really in the game and you really wanna invest a lot of money, something that I think you should get. So we're gonna start with beginning and these are going to be your most basic tools, but decent quality tools. So first things first, I'm going to have a picture of things up here, but um, I want you to get scribes. So I just use cheap ones off Amazon. I probably need to invest honestly in better ones, but I have not yet. And I've been doing this for two and a half years. So scribes that will help you manipulate your icing, help you, you know, scrape away something if needed. They're just invaluable. So I would definitely get those and those are very cheap on Amazon. You can start off using toothpicks, but honestly get you a tool that you can use over and over again without wasting your money on toothpicks. So scribes would be one thing to get. Another thing would be pans. So get a decent size pan. So at first I started with a pan that was bigger than half the size of my oven, but still too big to fit two in. And then I upgraded to a large one that's the full oven. So now I can fit multiple in there, or not multiple in there, but I can fit more cookies on a sheet. And then I have two of them. So when one's in the oven, I have the other one in the freezer getting ready to go um, get my cookies in their shape, my cutout cookies in the shape. And then I'm putting it in the oven as soon as that one's done. So, so far we have scribes and decent quality pans. Um, the second thing that I would get, if you're planning on doing intricate designs that are gonna be, you know, a lot of backgrounds maybe, or a lot of details, I'll show a couple pictures of what I mean. You're gonna wanna invest in an airbrush machine. Now, this might seem like a lot. I think I start the first one I got was around $100, so it's not too much of an investment if you have some money saved up in your business account. Um, get an airbrush machine, but get an airbrush machine that uses the airbrush spray part make sure that is small points like a makeup brush okay so make sure it's still food grade eligible but you want it to be small like a makeup brush because if you get one of those big chunky ones they just don't do fine sprays and it looks chunky when you spray it it's just not good so invest in an airbrush machine if you're planning on doing those intricate backgrounds so we have scribes decent pans large pans and then an airbrush machine Finally, um, if you live in a humid climate, I think this is very important to help you with your color bleed situation. At least it has been helpful for me. Other people can weigh in on this if it helps them or not, but I have a small dehydrator. That's actually what that is right there, my dehydrator. So I think that small one was maybe like $75. So it seems like a lot for a little machine, but it is so important when you are living in a humid climate. So when it's humid times of year where I live, I dump that out at least once a week, maybe twice a week. And it's a small container, but still, you can pay even more money to $300 and get a large one for the whole room. But I just have this small one for now and it's worked and I've had it for a year and a half. So if you're beginning, things that I would definitely suggest would be a scribe, decent large pans, airbrush machine, small dehydrator. Now, we're gonna move on to more pricier items. So maybe if you're, you know, want to amp up your business. These are things that I would get that I swear by and did not get until um, later on in my cookie journey. But um, I have the first one here. It's just charging, so that's why it's here. But my projector. So I have the Kodiak projector. I don't even know which one. It doesn't say. Maybe it does. Kodiak Luma 150. I've had this thing since March 2022. So almost two years now and it has served me really well. You can do it wirelessly with your phone or you can plug it into your computer if you're recording with your phone. Whatever you wanna do, this thing works great. I love it, highly suggest it. And then um, a projector stand, that's what this is. The bottom is right here. Oh, pause. So if you're gonna have a projector, you need a stand. So projector and a heavy duty stand, you wanna make sure the metal is secure and it's not going to tip over onto your cookie while you're using it. So projector and a stand. Um, also, a dehydrator for, did I say dehydrator for that? That is a dehumidifier. Please tell me I said the right thing. If not, it's a dehumidifier. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and check. But the next thing would be a dehydrator for your cookies. So I have one. I would put up a picture over here so I don't have to move you around. So get you the projector, a dehydrator for your cookies, and a 3D printer. Now the last thing I'm gonna mention is 
quite costly and a huge investment for your business. And I would only suggest getting it if you really think you can pay it off in a timely manner, if it's gonna work for your business model, just keep that in mind. But Eddie, the edible ink printer or a printer like it, not just that, I don't know, I haven't tried any other ones. This is just the one I have. It's definitely worth it if you want to work towards more corporate orders or if you are just wanting to do printed cookies. You don't want to do hand piped details. You just want to do printed. This is your way to go. New, they're like $3,000 before taxes. Um, and I bought mine refurbished and I think it was 2400 so it's quite costly and a big investment, but definitely worth it. So those are the things that I would recommend as a beginning cookie gear in your business and then things to buy as you get further further along in your business that would just ultimately help make you work faster and make your quality of cookies better so then you can have more money and work less. So let me know in the comments if you agree with anything. Do you have something to add? Um, something you would change? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.